Good evening to you, actually. Thank you very much for joining and staying up for us. What's the sense? Uh, should we worry about uh, the cracking down on Chinese brokerages, or is it the old China problem and EMs in general need worry? Uh, to me, it looks um, a bit overdone, a bit more like a, a sentiment issue. So maybe just to recap what actually happened today. So we got a confirmation that it was already rumored in the market that there will be investigations. So um, we have some of the broker houses, the securities houses under investigation for potential uh, regulatory violations. And um, what really th that tells us is that the uh, the authorities, the government, is trying to, in the Asia market, by the way, not necessarily the H market, but the Asia market in the mainland, are trying to make sure that leverage, uh, the use of margin financing, or you know any any ways around it, like like equity swaps, um, stay under control, don't heat up again. So they want to increase basically the the, the long term health of of the market. So. Also, what I would bear in mind is, um, unlike in other countries, uh, these security houses are actually state-owned. So we have an investigation of the government into government-owned entities. Now, we have some historic uh, um, precedents how that usually works out, and, and if that is any guide, typically what happens, yes, individuals in these companies might be targeted. The companies okay. themselves, typically it is not an existential threat. Okay. Well, uh, what have you made of the rally in India? Uh, you know, India has been a standout performer today in uh, the Asian basket itself. And among them, the public sector, state-owned banks have done exceptionally well. Uh, any comments? Well, uh, more recently, say the last two, three months, it seems almost um, like it's the mirror image of, of China. So the, the moment uh, investors, global investors seem to have faith in China, they, they seem to be selling positions uh, and vice versa. It's almost a negative correlation. But coming back on the on the um, state-owned banks, I c would also think where that generally comes from, we also like them. I think... Um, and, and I couldn't agree more with with my with with the previous speaker that was on the program that um, you know the really big reform complex ones complex legislation like GST we need to be careful to expect too much in terms of, of the early timing of passing them but what I think is also perhaps just as important is these somewhat smaller reforms on a somewhat lower level such as um, you know running the the uh, state owned uh, the, the PSU banks independently banks of the code streamlining the the debt tribunals or you know really shortening that process mm. um, all of those things make makes uh, makes this space and it's very cheap in terms of valuation makes the makes the uh, state owned banks place in india um, an attractive proposition i think all right hartman we we'll let you go on that note thanks for giving us uh, those details